Hello everyone! Today my colleague and I will introduce you this plastic sealing machine. This is the YE381A35 in laminator home office plastic sealing machine. Let's open it now. All right. Let's first take a look at the accessories that come with it. There are a detachable corner rounder, an instructions booklet to quickly learn how to use the machine, and 10 plastic envelopes. In the front, we can see a cutter and a ruler. While looking at the back, we can see the removable corner rounder that can be extracted and put back into place with ease. The removable corner rounder not only cuts paper, but also pictures making their edges softer and safer. Using it, it's very simple. Just insert a corner and vigorously press the corner rounder so that the blade can cut through. To change the cutting blade, first lift the safety block, then turn the knob until the straight line is selected, and finally put the safety block back into place. To cut the paper, place it into position and press down the cutting blade as you slide it. This is how you safely cut paper in two. Repeating the previous steps, we will now change the blade to the waved one. Always remember to put the security block back into place. Again, press down the cutting blade and slide it to cut paper and format waved edge. If the blade is dull or damaged, it can be replaced very easily by removing the cap, taking out the guiding rail, and replacing the plate inside. Then, reinserting the guiding rail with the cutting head. In its right position. And the security cap, the plate is replaced. Plug in the machine. Turn on the power button on the right by pushing it to the left and adjust the button on the left to the heating position. You will then see that the power indicator lights up. Make sure that the size of the photo and the size of the plastic film almost match and put the photo inside the film. Let's get started. With the picture inserted in the plastic film, inside the machine the picture will be slowly sealed. Our plastic wrapping machine supports a variety of sizes, from A3 below. The picture, after being sealed in plastic film, will come out from the back of the machine. You can see that the sealed photo is flat and not bubbly at all. In addition, we can use the corner rounder to cut the edges of the photo to make it smoother. When you have finished sealing papers, turn off the machine by sliding the power button to the cooling state. If you have any questions or problems, feel free to contact us.
The Ultima 35 Easy Load uses Easy Load technology to ensure fast, easy, and error-free film loading. Color-coded end caps on each roll of film allow you to quickly and correctly drop the rolls into the laminator, therefore eliminating the chance of loading the film backwards. Once the new rolls of film are locked into place, you'll then need to thread the new film through the laminator. There are two ways to thread the film using either existing film left on the heat shoe after cutting the film from the rolls, or using a threading card. When loading film into the laminator, where there is no existing film over the heat shoe, you will need to use the threading card method. First let's explore the method of using existing film for threading. This method works best when the laminator is warmed up. Preheat the laminator until the ready light illuminates. Remove the feed table by first disengaging the locks at both ends. Your laminator will automatically power off once the feed table is removed. Without removing the heat shield, cut the remaining top and bottom films between the rolls and the heat shoe. You now have film remaining intact on the heat shoe detached from both the top and bottom rolls. Remove the heat shield. Remove the bottom film roll by unlocking the latches on both ends of the laminator and lifting the roll out of the cradle. Now remove the top roll of film in the same way. Place a new roll of film into the cradles by matching the color and size of each end cap to the color and size of the cradles. Then close the latches. Unroll enough film from the top roll to tuck under the idler bar and drape over the heat shoe. Unroll enough film from the bottom roll to tack onto the existing film on the heat shoe, leaving a little slack. Replace the feed table and re-engage the locks. Replace the heat shield. Turn the laminator on and allow the machine to warm up. When the ready light illuminates, set the dial to 1 and press the up arrow. To ensure proper feeding, both the old and the new films must advance at the same time. Any separation between the films will require repositioning of the film over the heat shoe. After the newly threaded film has completely exited from the rear and the output is clear, press stop. Trim off the excess film from the rear with the built-in trimmer. Now you're ready to laminate. Let's now explore the other method of film threading by using a threading card. This method also works best when the laminator is preheated. Look for the threading card enclosed inside of the packaging. You can also use a manila folder or any letter-sized cardstock to substitute the threading card. Remove the heat shield and feed table. Replace the top and bottom films for following the same steps as described earlier. Unroll enough film from the top roll to tuck under the idler bar and drape over the heat shoe. Now lift the bottom film up and drape over the top film on the heat shoe. At this point, the bottom and the top film will begin to adhere, forming one film. Install the feed table and the heat shield. Turn the machine back on, and again allow it to warm up. Set the dial to 1, and press up. Slide the threading card into the laminator, and allow it to feed completely through. Once the card exits from the rear, and the output is clear, push stop. Trim off the excess film from the rear with the built-in trimmer. Your film is now installed.